Sam Fisher has uh, gone through a lot of changes for his latest game. And um, Benke, what's different? And uh, why ha why do we have to wait so long for Splinter Cell? Yeah, I think um, that's a great question. Yeah, and it's it can probably fill a couple of shows. Yeah, <laughs> but. Uh, I think what uh, what happened after the last Splinter Cell was that Ubisoft wanted to do something different. And uh, when you do something different, it usually takes a little bit longer. And when they first showed off Splinter Cell Conviction, it was a totally different game from what we're seeing now. Uh, it was a game where they they really emphasized the, the crowd features, where you could hide in crowds and you could you were on the run and you were you know uh, trying to trying to stay out of sight and, uh, and it was very different from what we had seen earlier in, in Splinter Cell games where you you were sneaky and stealthy yeah. and um, then they went dark we heard nothing for about a year and a half and everyone said like well they're probably doing it like uh, an old Splinter Cell game they're they're returning Play to their safe. roots yeah. yes because peop the reactions weren't all that favorable yeah. and um, they came back and it was even more different than anything we've ever seen from Splinter Cell. So, uh, uh, that's Very indecisive, uh, people yeah. at Ubisoft. Yeah, well, I mean, the rumors were obviously wrong because they weren't doing the same thing they used to do. So, uh, but it's a good thing. I think uh, the, the series definitely needed a, a change because they've been doing the same thing for four games and, yeah. and it's, it was time to do something different. So tell me about the, the latest incarnation then. What, what are the biggest changes? In this Splinter Cell. Well, you know, Sam is, as was the plan with the, the origin when they first unveiled it, he's on the run, he's looking for uh, the people responsible for his daughter's death. And um, he's this not. This time it's personal. It's, it's yeah. personal. Uh, it's, it's a very original yeah. theme. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, he's left the third echelon and he's, um, he's using his black market contacts and he's trying to track these, um, the, the conspiracy throughout the world. And, um, and they're, they're, they have a f quite a few different things. I think the style of the game is more fast-paced. It's more uh, open-ended. It's it's uh, it's different. And and I think the first thing that strikes me is the presentation and how the story is presented. And and I think really the team has found a way to sort of really use the the video game medium in a way that perhaps hasn't been done before by by projecting. Uh, movies and stuff on on the environment and by making sure that you're told the story is told while you play it so there's really no sort of um, pauses for cutscenes and stuff to take you out yeah. of the experience so they yeah. try to keep you immersed all the time now that's a good thing I mean yeah. that could really annoy me when there's lots of cutscenes and I just want to keep on playing yeah and 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 the problem is that you're you're sort of you're uh, you're so concentrated when you play, and then you relax on the cutscene. So sometimes you just like the, fall the, asleep. Yeah, the story is lost on you because you're not focusing. Yeah. And uh, and well, and if the story is poor, uh, no. even worse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, th there's one thing I've uh, seen in the trailers for this game, and there's been a lot of talk about that. Uh, some really brutal interrogation. The to toilet case. bowl. Bowl. Yeah. The yeah. toilet bowl. Yeah. How, what do you think about that? Should yeah. they have flushed that idea, or is it, <laughs> is it a good one? Oh, uh, I think it's, uh, you know, if it's not too much of it, I've seen two instant, uh, instances of it. Uh, one, one the, the infamous toilet bowl, yeah. and, uh, and another one which was uh, outside of some, some complex where you used, uh, I think, an axe or something okay. uh, in a nice way, or, or, or uh, well, something, a tree trunk or, or whatever it was. But um, unless it's like it, two or three times every mission, then, then it can get a little bit annoying because what you essentially do is you just, uh, you know, you abuse someone to get them yeah. to speak. And it's, it's, uh, it's fun f for every new thing that you do, but I, I, I can imagine that it gets a little bit old after yeah. a while. But It's kind of similar to the Jason Bourne games as well. Mm. Mm. I mean, they, you know, they're 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 uh, apple and pears. You know, yeah. you know, they're they're not too much uh, different. Those those guys, but yeah, I mean, it's 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 a funny way of, of making a, a sort of a, a cutscene interactive. In that you sort of you you decide how far you go to to make him speak, and if you go too far, well, you're not getting get much out of him. Yeah. Um, but it's uh, yeah, 
it's a, it's a, I guess it's 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 gonna it's gonna reveal itself when you play the full game if it gets too much or if it's if it's okay. Yeah. So when is the full game coming out? I think April is the latest bid. Okay. But um, we're not sure. No. <laughs> But uh, there, there are some things more that we should think about that that I should talk about, it. Sure. and that is um, because there are some. I mean, the crowd, the crowd feature that they first revealed is going to be in the game. I haven't seen it how it looks in the new game, but there is going to be something of that left. But there is also the sort of the typical Splinter Cell gameplay where you're you can be stealthy, but you can also be kind of much more direct and brutal this time around. Mm -hmm. And uh, Sam has, has a few new tricks like uh, last known position, which he can manipulate his enemies into going where they think he is, and then he can pull a stunt on them. And um, also uh, something where you mark enemies, you sort of you tag them, and then you perform like a special thing where you shoot both of them in, in the head oh, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So it, it makes for a more sort of, you mentioned Jason Bourne, you get to see more more stuff that Jason Bourne would do okay. and, and less sort of cowardly sneaking around in the dark. But you oh. can still do that, though. I mean, it's, it's still in the game, but you're a little bit more free to sort of choose your own path. Uh, they, they call it, you know, a sandbox element that, that they've increased okay. uh, for the game. The thing that worries me there, if you have two routes to choose from, uh, you really need to make both routes interesting. Yeah. Do you think that they can manage that? It's hard to say. I, I've only seen like one playthrough or one level or, or played one, so I, I really can't see how dynamic it is. But um, I think, uh, hopefully, hopefully, I think uh, this is the kind of game where, where, you know, there's been a lot of effort put into it, so it should be. I mean, it's just looking at the whole package because they also got multiplayer and co-op missions. Yeah. It's, uh, I guess it's it's sort of a signaling that we've spent a lot of money on this. So yeah. they took two months extra for polish and hopefully that means that it will be polished when it comes out. Um, Perfect, it could be worth the wait then. What happens next is up to you. Okay, Splinter Cell Conviction, some great upcoming agent missions then. Hopefully, and hopefully it won't be too long now. Yeah.